What's up, y'all? It's your boy Clarence NYC. Welcome back to my reaction channel. You know what I'm saying? Today, uh, it's not I'm, it's not gonna be a long intro because you guys already know probably. But Queen has dropped a video. You know what I'm saying? I knew she was gonna drop a video, but I just didn't know. I don't know what. Oh, I don't know what it said or or what she said in the video. Like I haven't I haven't seen it yet. You know what I'm saying? So. This is there about to be the first reaction, you know, first reaction. Let's get right into it. Video is 30 minutes, so I'm not going to waste your time. Let's do it. What's up, Queendom? It's your girl, Queen. I am back with another video. Okay, I'm not sure from the title, you can already tell, it's going to be a story time or something of that sort. So, first of all, it's been a, a lot going on. A lot going on. I've been getting ready to drop my album. Um, it has been a lot going on. on that because this is a very big moment it's been a lot in going my on. life. With Lord um, Bad Fits and It's my debut album. Everything. Like, this is my dream. Like, this is... I just want to put my full focus on it, you know? Um, and I just want to tell... I just want you to know that we are very much focused on this album. You know what I'm saying, and I'm pretty, and I'm making sure that Queen is very focused on this album. I have people writing me telling me stop entertaining that, stop doing that. It's like let's focus on Queen album. You guys got to remember that I have a job too. You feel me? Um, and my one of my first jobs is to always protect my family. So I don't need anybody telling me to protect anybody. I got this. You know what I'm saying? But I still have a job to do. You know what I'm saying? I still have bills to pay. And we're going to get this chicken. You dig? I told you that's what that's what this reaction channel is for. And so I've been busy with that. But as you guys know, there's been some other things going on as well um, on the internet. And if you know, you know. Um, I wasn't going to come and make a video or say anything. Because truthfully, if I ever came back to my channel or when I came back to Get your bag, sis. My channel, I wanted to just come refreshed and i don't know i just hate that like every time i come and do a video i'm always like it's always something about some drama but i always feel the need to like just tell my side of things just because when you don't when you don't explain your side of the story to a situation you give people more room to make assumptions that that's what true. i just told y'all know it's been a, a whole situation um with the exes going on and <laughs> with the I seen the very last video. I watched it. And I'm going to keep it 100% real with you guys. I felt bad. I really did. I didn't feel bad because I'm guilty of anything that she was insinuating that I did. But I felt bad because, first of all, that's just how my heart is set up. Like, I, I, I don't know. Like, I'm just super, super nice. And as a woman, like, I could feel... I could feel it like I, I could feel you know where she was coming from and I've been in a place like that before where you know I was heartbroken or like you know something like that I don't know if she she's still heartbroken but I, I don't know but I, I just feel like I wanted to come here and just basically give you guys my point of view of things because I feel like in a way my character could be misinterpreted or misconstrued and I have a brand. I'm a singer, and and I don't want to be looked at as like that kind of person that uh, maliciously just does things to people. Um, and I also have a family brand. I have a family brand. I have two kids. You know, we got the Royal Family Channel, and I think it's I have every right to come and clear my name as well, just like everyone else. That's a fact. That's I need you guys to understand the place I was in when I first ever spoke to Clarence at all. Um. It's been said a lot and continuously that I cheated um, and I was doing something sneaky. But truthfully, you guys, of course, I was legally still in a marriage. But it was a situation where, like, my ex, Chris, was already, he had already been moving single, like a single man, for the longest. And you guys know that if you follow my story, you guys know that after the situation that happened with um the three girls who came and exposed him for that whole situation after that i even like stayed and stuck around truthfully i i stuck around because 
for one, I didn't have my own money to leave. I wasn't prepared to leave. I just didn't have my own stuff. Like my credit was super low. It was just so much going on where it made it very hard for me to leave. And plus, you know, we had a son. We have a son. Um, so what Put my I'm leg up on it. Like it's a, gonna be a while. Kind of way. But I was in ATL, and this was during Hurricane Harvey. We had went to we had went to Atlanta to escape the hurricane, and um, Chris and me we wasn't even like really together. We probably did like maybe one video as a group um, when we was like in the house with Janae and them. But we like we wasn't really together. When we went to Atlanta. He was doing his own thing, and I know I knew he was doing his own thing. Um, it was pretty much over to me. Like, I feel yeah. like once someone is disloyal and they move... I'm doing a video, bro. They move funny and they talk to different people. And, like, they're doing it blatantly where you you know it and they don't care. It's like, at this point... So, anyway, when I message Clarence... We all want a future that matters. Let us begin. Hang on! Bigger than everybody. <laughs> I'll tell you, big ads queen. Let's do it. I, I didn't have no Let's intentions or no, like, I wasn't plotting Someone like, birthday yeah, coming up. I'm about to message him and then I'm going to go see him. And you guys, truthfully, I had, I think I was scrolling. I seen Clarence on my Explore page and I had seen him before. I clicked on his page and it was his page. And I was like, oh, this is really his page. And I was just scrolling through and of course, you know, I thought he was a handsome guy. Um, because <laughs> I had seen him before and I always thought he was handsome. Um, but I didn't see no girl on his page, you know? I I didn't see no girl on his page. So when I DM him, it was just kind of it was like kind of like one of those things where I don't know. Hey, let me just let me just DM this person and see see what's up. Like not in a way to like be sneaky or like, "Ooh, I'm about to, you know, I don't know. I don't know honestly, truth be told, I don't know why I did it. I think I think part of the reason was just because I was just maybe just already feeling down and low and just I don't know. I wanted to converse with someone else, I guess. You know, that's the honest truth. Because, you know, Chris was doing what he was doing. I just feel, I don't know. I really don't know. But anyway, when we converse, you guys seen the messages. Clarence showed it in his past video. Um, it's a fact. Go watch we that. If you haven't, you like, did. It wasn't like flirtatious or anything. It was really just talking about what was going on with us. And um, yeah, as you guys can see, I did tell him. Uh, uh, I went into detail about what I was going on. But... He asked me, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he said it was getting crazy for him. And I was like, what is it? And I said, shit, it's getting crazy for me, too. And when he asked, I told him what was going on. Like, and I, I didn't mind telling him what was going on just because, I don't know, like, it was already public. It was already public what was going on. So I was like, forget it. And I'm all... Had no idea what was going on, nigga. I didn't have no idea, nigga. That's why I asked in the thing. If I knew them and I watched them, I would have known what they was going through been a super transparent person i can talk to some a stranger which is kind of bad sometimes i can talk to a stranger and literally when they leave they know so much about me and i know that's so bad so so i want you guys to know that i didn't do that to i don't know get him to feel bad for me or just try to like i don't know i, do, I did that with everybody truthfully so it's not just clarence um but when he told me that yeah, he queens had a girl open or whatever book. when i was like open you know book. you should start youtube and if you got a girl you could prank her and when he told me he had someone I didn't like try to say oh well actually I was like yo well why ain't she on your page like girls love that you should put it on your page like so people can know so um that's a fact she did I don't say know, that you saying also right there that it was complicated I dropped the screenshot um and it was complicated with me too so you know it didn't go no further anywho though I followed him and around that same time when I followed him I remember getting a call from Chris and Chris was like why you follow him like and i'm just like what like first of all why are you even calling me checking me because you're doing what you're doing like you have no you have no mm, so that changes it you said you didn't know about anything about me you knew my boy bad fits knew he knew about me i didn't know about him but he knew about me Interesting. room to ask me what I'm doing who I'm following or anything you're moving like the way you want to move I'm gonna move how I want to move and, and and it wasn't flirtatious you know I still was explaining to him like it wasn't like that he said he's gonna send us hoodies and all that stuff and Chris still felt intimidated I feel like because he's seen how he looks he 
he knew like I'm not gonna lie, bro. I don't get into the whole cocky thing, but bro, before you knew who I was, bro. Come on, there wasn't a lot of people. You know what I mean? I know I wasn't lit, lit, but I was going viral every second. You know what I'm saying? Like, most likely, if you had a girl, you knew who I was. Stop the cat. Like, I think I even like mentioned him to Chris before because we was. Lord Bad Fits. Me and Chris would always like just kind of vocal about. We did smash your passes together, you know. So like I knew what, who he found attractive, and he knew who I found attractive. I, I told him. So he had been knew that. He was like, Nah, nah, fuck that, da da da. Unfollowed him. Even though I didn't feel like I needed to do that, I did it out of respect because I first of all I didn't want no trouble in the house. We were still living together. I ain't, it's not like I had my own uh, like a lot of money of my own to go take and go move. You know, so I just unfollowed him, I guess, to keep the peace because when it when it got crazy with me and him, it got crazy. And it's a lot of things that you guys don't know that went on behind closed doors. It get, it got crazy, okay? I'm not gonna say anything, but it got super crazy. I didn't want no trouble like when we got back to the same house. So I was like, okay, forget it. Um, Nigga, legend wilding point, in the back. When we went back to uh, Houston, we ended up going back to. When she said things got crazy, I'm pretty sure y'all know what, what what she's talking about. You know what I'm saying? And this is when we, we, we me and her, try to be mature because it's like, you know? But you guys know what yeah, we're talking about. I don't know. I didn't think it's just it very it's hurtful. I just, like I said, I ain't, he had a girl. I ain't want no trouble. I ain't want to, like, drag it on. But um, as me and Clarence weren't talking, like, things got worse and worse between me and Chris. We wasn't having sex. We wasn't sleeping together in the same bed. He was going out every night. He was doing what he wanted to. He was sleeping with other girls. It was just kind of like, we was kind of like roommates. You know what I'm saying? And I knew, I knew for a fact our relationship was over. He wasn't happy with me. He didn't love, it's like, ironic. he didn't want to be with me, you know? Um, but I was still just, we was kind of just still there just playing, like, I was just kind of playing like I was okay with it, because, like, it was nothing else I could really do. Um, speed it up. Things was getting worse. Um, and one day I was, I think I was scrolling across YouTube, and I seen that Clarence, I did a smash your pass video. Now me and Clarence had talked about him starting a YouTube channel, right? And when I seen he made a YouTube channel, I was like, oh, so he really did it, you know? And when I went and I watched the video, I seen him and um Mod doing a smash your pass and I and I didn't even know that my name was in there. I was like, yo, what? Like, and then what he said, I was like, hold on, wait a minute. Like, I got a little offended, I ain't gonna lie. Um <laughs> so I had went to look for him on Instagram so and I found pretty. out I seen that like I couldn't find him so I went to my block list like yo did I block him? Mother, after this and video I'm about to go upstairs and do some things. In my head I'm like okay I ain't block him I know who did it. So Cause she did this I video the day. That's how she look right now. You know what I mean? And I was like um I think I commented on his story or something. You guys seen it something about the socks with slippers or whatever. And then he was like he, he started talking back to me. And I was like yo um. What you said, I, I was just basically telling him what about what he said in the video. Like, that was that was funny. Like, Frank Red, Frank's Red Hot. Oh, I'm not sweet. He, you know, like, just kind of, I don't know, picking at him about what he said. Obviously, at this point, if he's doing a smash pass on a bunch of girls. I did. Um, I, I just refused to do another video on it, but my point exactly. Just you could tell how I was moving and what I was doing. That you could tell that I was single. I don't want to throw other people's relationships out there, but there was pub. There's public record out there that I was messing with girls before Queen. I was messing with girls before Queen. It's out there. It's probably on YouTube. People know about it. Like I know about it. Like you know, what I'm saying maybe not if you follow me now, but if you follow me before, you know, what I'm saying I'm not about to bring it up because people, you know, what I'm saying everybody older and. In relationships, like it should just stay like that. But I was speaking to girls before Queen, like you know what I'm saying. So I don't get why the attention goes to Queen. You know what I'm saying? Girls, including me, I still didn't see no girl on his page. Like from this, at, wait, wait a minute. Actually, I, I think I watched some more of his videos. Yeah, that's right. I watched some more of his videos besides his master pass, and he was like that he was a single man. He was doing a Q and A. He was like he's a single man. So from that point, 
Like I said, I never had seen who he was with ever before. Never seen a picture of her or anything. He said that he was single. I felt like I'm like, I'm, nigga, my relationship was over. So I was like, oh, okay, you know. So we started talking. Mm -hmm. Now, when we started talking on well, Let me go back a little bit, like, y'all. That, that whole, like, chat thing. Like I said, I never had seen who he was with ever. I watched some more of his videos besides him about what he said. Obviously, at this point, if he was doing a smasher pass on a bunch of girls, including me, I still didn't see no girl on his page. Like, from this... At, wait, wait a minute. Actually, I, I think I watched some more of his videos. Yeah, that's right. I watched some more of his videos okay, besides he's Smasher checking, Pass. Yeah. And he was like, that he was a single man. He was doing a Q&A, and he was like, he's a single man. So, from that point... Like I said, I never had seen who he was with ever before. Never seen a picture of or anything. He said that he was single. I felt like I'm like I, nigga, my relationship was over. So I was like, oh, okay, you know. So we started talking. Now, when we started talking on Instagram, like some more, we, it went over to Snapchat. We started talking on Snapchat, and fact. I was still living in that house. But like I said, felt like I was just a roommate. Like niggas was moving how they want to move. And yeah, me and Clarence was just conversating, you know, like we got a little deeper. We start talking about things that we were going through and like our past. Like I had mentioned to him, like what I was going through in my relationship. He had mentioned to me about, he was talking about how he was going through like a toxic kind of situation on and off. And like we was at that point, we were talk, we were like confiding each other as friends. We never spoke about sex. We never spoke about anything. And when she means toxic, she's getting that from me. I'm calling what a, what I was in toxic, and I'm that's not us pointing fingers or anything as saying that my ex is the one that's toxic. It was just a toxic together. I'm not. There's no. I'm not. I'm not even trying to make myself sound innocent or nothing. Like you know, what I'm saying I I probably had a lot to do with that toxicity. You know what I'm saying? But it, it was just a mixture of things. You know what I'm saying? And it went from us talking about that to really like just falling asleep on the phone every single night. That's another thing I want you guys to know. I didn't just up and fly to New York like, oh yeah, I'm about to come see you. Me and Clarence was talking on the phone, falling asleep on FaceTime every night for a good, for a good like, I don't know, month and a half. For a while, guys. So if I'm able to talk to Queen for a month, and a half spending in like I mean I'm talking about like I wake up my phone is dead or I wake up and Queen is still snoring on the phone type shit I couldn't have been with somebody you feel me there's no way there's no way you know what I'm saying it's clear that she would have my ex wouldn't have had that You feel me? And during that time when I was talking to Queen, I remember going to Miami. You feel me? I was in Miami. Everybody remember that? I was in Miami. I was chilling out there. You know what I'm saying? Doing videos and doing vlogging. You know what I'm saying? One of my first vlogs. Everybody knows that. I was doing. I was living in Miami. Queen knows that. Queen was telling me, oh, now I don't try, don't have too much fun, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, I'm like, yo, yeah, I'm telling her, like, you feel me? Like, she know, she knows things that I was doing out there. I'm having fun, you know what I'm saying? I'm a good looking man. I was young. I was in a relationship for four or five years. I was doing my thing. Like that, and like, it made me like, it made us like, you know, feel for each other a little bit more. I could tell. I could tell. I did. I did. He feel. would. He would tell me how he felt. Like, you know, how he felt different about me and things like that. I would tell him the same. So we start developing like a liking for each other and possibly feeling. Then we spoke about doing a video. We spoke about doing a video together because we felt like it would be a a good money move for one. We already had like fan pages of people collaging our pictures together um it was crazy man and like we was like man they really like they people kept saying i ship y'all i ship y'all i ship y'all so i was thinking in my head you know this is great for my channel because i need i need to get my money up you know 
Um, I have money with the Chris and Queen channel, but I don't consider that to be my money because when I left, I couldn't even have half of that. Like, I, he, would, he wasn't even giving me half of, of it. And I didn't care at the point because I was just like, listen, I don't want no money or anything. I just really want to be done with this relationship, with this whole thing. Because it was draining. Like, talk about draining for years. You know, of course, I smiled on camera. We did what we did for our brand. But that shit was draining, y'all. And it was a lot, like yeah. I said, that happened behind closed Confirmed that she didn't receive anything, guys. She didn't receive money. She didn't receive half. It's documented that the car was taken, right? Car was uh, the, the the little Jeep that was uh, in the thing or in Houston got taken. He put that all on video. <laughs> Those doors that you guys do not know about. Um. So yeah, I was like, yeah, this is a money move. Maybe uh, I come out there and like we we do some videos. First time I went out there, I went with Ari and Vache and Do some other girls. I was scared to go by myself. I didn't know what was like. I didn't know, like, we had talked on the phone, but I was still scared. It was New York. I didn't want to go by myself. But I had still made plans to, uh, you know, go see him for the first time in person. And we seen each other. We didn't do a video that time, but we did see each other. I went back home. I mean, I went back to Houston. I was living with Armand and Trey by this time. And I was working on my videos because I was just trying to get my bag up. Listen, I was trying to leave. I was trying to get my own apartment. I was going to get my apartment in Houston. Actually, I think me and Ari was talking about moving in together. Yeah, I remember um, when she was telling me that. When I went back to New York the second time, we chose to do our first video together. I had met his sister, Lee, who had helped me out with a situation... Um, with medicine, because I had released medicine on YouTube, which Clarence also encouraged me that I should release it on on New Year's because he was just like, you know, you should just go to ahead. To New Year. It. Like, to New Year. I was just basically telling him, like, you know, this is a new queen. You about to step into something. This is funny? like a new beginning for you. And I was like, yeah, but I, I was scared because I knew once I released medicine, y'all, I could never go back to Chris. I was like, once I do this, it's done. Like, because nobody knew that Chris had cheated again. I kept that secret because I didn't want to look stupid. You know, I didn't want to look stupid all over again. Like, damn, people going to say, I told you so. Um, and these are one of the reasons why, Chris, my advice to, be, to you is to, I don't know why you do the things you do. Because you know people are holding a lot of your skeletons in the closet. And I think you should be nicer to people. You know what I mean? Not even nicer, but just like, you know? Um, and I just, I just didn't want to. So when people started asking, like, why aren't you doing a video for Chris no more? Like, why you at Trader Mom's house? It got to the point where now Queen has to do a video. And now her side of the story is gonna, you know? It's like, I didn't want to say it because I felt stupid. I felt so dumb. Like, damn, I really stayed and I looked dumb. So I, I made a song. I made medicine, you know? Anyway, Clarence, and, and he encouraged me to release it, New Year's, da, da da I released it, that happened. Somebody stole my song, put it on Apple, was getting money for it. They was getting paid so for it. So I met Lee. Lee was a businesswoman. Um, and she helped me out. Little Queen made zero dollars off of, off of the, 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 um, the medicine. Not until... The business with, like, Lee helped with the business and got her in touch with the right people and got in touch with the right people to figure that out. She made zero dollars. Actually, her own song on YouTube got copyrighted from the guy that fake made it. That, that posted it. And the guy that posted it is the person that did the beat, too. That's what's crazy. That guy, his name is something. The guy that did that medicine beat, that kid, he's a... He's a snake, boy. He's a snake. You know what I'm saying? He was trying to get crazy. He was getting crazy chicken. Y'all know how viral that song went. Out. Like, she helped me out a lot. Then we started talking business. And I was like, yo, could you go through my emails? You know, I don't go through my emails or anything like that. I don't know about labels. And she she, uh, she used to be a manager of uh, back in the day of Nappy Roots. So, like, she had some experience in that. Um. T-Mobile is the leader in 5G I have a story too. I have a story to tell. I don't know if she's going to say this, but Queen was actually in New York and found a manager. You know what I'm saying? It was a guy. And this is some, some, some of the times, this is one of the reasons why I feel like I'm the way I am with Queen too. Like I'm, I'm sometimes 
like just I be trying to protect her, but you know, not you know, just because like in the beginning we're just friends, you know what I'm saying? And while we're chilling, she's going places. She's getting things done while I'm getting things done. It's not like we're there all day. Like we do videos, then she's going to do the photo shoot and meet with her manager and team and everything. And this, and there'll come a time where I'm like. Yo, who is your manager? Like, I'm not even thinking about making my sister a manager. I'm never even thinking that. That never even came up. But I'm like, yo, who's your manager? And then when I finally met her manager, I'm good, very good at reading people. I'm very good at reading people. And that man did not know what he was doing, what he was talking about. He'd never been a manager before. And he was going to take advantage of Queen for sure. And not only that, he was also attracted to Queen. Which also is, you know what I'm saying. So that was a that wasn't gonna be a bad wasn't gonna be a good move. You know what I'm saying. Creepy dude, creepy looking dude. Like he, she was creeped out from him. You know what I'm saying. Like you shouldn't be creeped out from your manager. But, but like then that's when I'm like, nah, you can't do that. And then like I'm like, yo, maybe Lee could help. You know what I mean. Or if maybe find just help to find you a manager. You know what I'm saying. Lee, my older sister has been my problem solver since a little kid. You know what I'm saying? When there's some when you have a problem, we call Lee in my family. You know what I'm saying? So I kept extending my new New York trip when I was out there. That's a fact. I kept extending it because we was having... I don't know, it just felt so good to be there. I felt so free. I had a friend out there that like yeah, I really still consider him my friend. Even if I had had a crush on him or liked him, I still consider him my friend. Because we, we told each other literally, like, anything. Like, if he was talking to another girl or texting another girl, I didn't really care. Even if I did, like, That's a fact. like him, I didn't care because we were not committed to each other. That's a fact. Actually, when Queen got out here, I still bother her to this day because she was chilling with some Queens niggas. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I still bother her to this day. She chilled with some Queens niggas. You know what I'm saying? But she ain't talked to none of them because she was, you know, you know, your boy. There's only one. You know what I'm saying? There's only one. But I bother, you know what I'm saying? So we was genuinely just friends. You know what I'm saying? I did not care. She I knew girls like, that I was talking to, too. That try to force him, like, she would say well, they're we, pretty. What we doing? Like, and all of that. Like, I wasn't like that. Like, and I feel like that's why he was super cool with me, too, because I was not forceful on him. I never forced anything. But I do feel like. The more and more we got to know each other and, and be together, you know, he felt my vibe. He got to know me more. He looked at me as a different person. I, I wasn't the girl that he seen um, on the Smash and Pass challenge. He, he said I had a bad outfit or whatever, but whatever. Also, the camera don't do me justice. This camera's not doing me justice. It's I look doing you justice like right now. The people that see me in person can that. But, like, he was feeling my vibe. I'm I feeling feel, your vibe, shorty. I knew it. I was feeling his vibe, and we just like, we still was keeping it like we still was friends, you know. Um, friends with feelings, building. So, the situation like with his ex, you know, I knew I was aware that he was still getting over a five-year relationship. That's understandable because I was too. I'm not gonna lie. When I finally signed the divorce papers. The, the bleh. when I finally signed the divorce papers um with Chris after seeing him I'm not gonna lie I sat in the car and I cried it's and Lee was right there next to me I did I cried because like it's not that I it's, it's not that I like wanted to be with him it was also like a feeling of like damn five years down the drain what's gonna happen next like I know that that relationship was toxic but that's he's all I knew like, I'm really like, you know what I'm saying? I'm really going through my head like, dang. You know, but I know, I knew for a fact I didn't want to go back because it was so unhealthy and it was so toxic. Yo, I, I just, I don't know. It's making me a little, like, because I just remember when I, I, I first met Queen, she was just such a timid, timid soul, mom. Such a, like, and, and I really, honestly, genuinely, because I just have a huge heart. You know what I'm saying? I get that from my dad. You know what I'm saying? Um... Yeah, I get my huge heart from my dad, you know what I'm saying? Free my pops, you heard? Um, I get that from him, and it's like I seen her broken, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just seen her. I seen that she wanted a friend. 
I seen that she wanted just some love. You know what I'm saying? Not even like on some like love, like just wants a friend that loves or someone just that just cares, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm talking about like and I know she has her family and stuff and, and, and that, but like she was like alone, man, you know? That she was alone. Like there was just no one sticking up for her. There was no one protecting her. There was no one you know what I mean? And and I, I don't know, I've always been like, just, I hate bullies, you know what I'm saying? I feel like, it's another reason why me and Ma is just so close, you know what I'm saying? I don't like when people just try and like, I don't know, take advantage of people, is all. You know what I'm saying? I would never take advantage of anybody, you know what I'm saying? Uh, purposely, knowingly, I just wouldn't. And it only broke me down the more and more I stayed. Queen could Queen thought she would never find somebody because how she looked. And how her belly looked. Her belly was a huge thing. That's why when she wanted to have surgery, I said, go ahead. You could do that. Because I know that's something that's bothered you even way before, you know? And you know what's one funny thing? And I, I, I think that... I think there's a reason why Queen, like... I think Queen really cared for me after this, too. And you guys could, you guys probably think I'm an asshole or or whatever, but the first time me and Queen had sex, I believe, you know what's the first thing I did? I kissed her stomach. <laughs> that was the first thing I did, because I knew her just laying there, covering her stomach, thinking that I'm a care or I'm a... Or I'm going to make fun of her, you know, like, like, that's just, that's not how I am. Like, I'm not a shallow person, you know what I'm saying? I thought she was beautiful, you know what I'm saying? But you had a kid. So what? You know what I'm saying? So what? Physically, emotionally, mentally, it broke me down being broke, that man. marriage. I you know? remember just going to reach for something and Queen would flinch. No cap. No cap. Um, and I'm sure you guys that can used to, by just in my personality. And when she Karen used to hurt me, Ma. I used to get mad at her when she do that. Like, like yo, I, I will never, me. like, stop that. You feel me? He wanted me? to make me feel good. I wanted to make him feel I good. I wanted to make him feel good. From what I was told, that was a very toxic situation for him as well. It was, man. You know? Very and unhealthy. I was in a dark, dark man. place. Like, you can't just get over someone that you loved for five years. I totally get that. But at the same time, and then and that, and again, that's why I wrote her that day on her birthday, Leslie, on the live because Queen knew, and we had those conversations, and she knew what she meant to me at that time. Time us bonding and confiding. And she understood. Only made us kind of and closer, even supported you know? me. Um, obviously, we did things. I got pregnant. I didn't plan to get pregnant. Um, I don't check my ovulation. I never did that. I don't know, I just never did that because one... Yeah, I didn't know girls did that either. I had a super bad miscarriage the year before. Terrible miscarriage, y'all. I lost so much blood, I thought I was gonna die. I thought that something was wrong with me. I thought, like, maybe, okay, maybe I can't, maybe I can't have kids. And the only reason why I thought that was because even when I got pregnant with CJ, I was having unprotected sex for a very long oh, time. It took me a while to get pregnant. Truthfully, before CJ, Weeks before the market crashed, the Senate received a class. It's gonna be a long video, yeah. Queen made this that a very long day, video. David Perdue bought medical equipment stock, millions in stock trades, just before the market crashed. Instead of preparing us, David okay, Perdue non -skip blind joints do be bussing. They do be bussing. I can't confirm if it was a miscarriage or not, but I remember one day feeling the pain so deep. I lost so much blood, and I don't know what it came from. I never confirmed if it was a miscarriage or not. It could have been. And then I was having unprotected sex more. I got pregnant with CJ after two years. Had complications with CJ. Me and CJ could have died. CJ's heart rate was going down. My heart, like, it was just like, I didn't know. So I was like, mm, I'm scared to have kids. I had to have a C-section with him. Then in my marriage, you know, I was still doing things and I never got pregnant. I was like, okay, maybe I just can't, I don't know, maybe just, I don't know. Then I got pregnant. I had a miscarriage. 
Okay, so I'm thinking my oh, head, I don't get emotional. Like, queen. My body's just rejecting Good. kids. Like maybe CJ was just my miracle baby. You know what I'm saying? And the crazy thing is, I, when I had that miscarriage, bro, something in me told me it just wasn't meant. It just wasn't meant. It's so crazy because it's so crazy because I don't need. I I seen a video of like last year. I seen a video of me saying something about the name legend i've seen a facebook post of me saying man i just keep seeing the name legend everywhere and it's my boy right like, there man whoa Special this is crazy kid. it's like i was like manifesting it or i was just like i've seen signs i lost the baby but i was still seeing the name legend everywhere it was so weird you guys um and then fast forward i meet clarence and i get pregnant I did not think I was gonna get pregnant. Truthfully, I didn't think Clarence, Clarence thought, Clarence was telling me he thought his soldier didn't march. I thought, honestly, guys, I, I, I thought, I, I thought so, honestly. I, I thought. You feel me? And I really did he thought think. He didn't march because he had never had a pregnancy <coughs> with any girl. With any girl, it's not so on my. On my end, I'm like, okay, well, shoot, we we fine. I, I went mean, raw, I went raw puppy a few times. I never got pregnant, so I was like, oh, okay, that was our business. So we wasn't gonna tell nobody that. Like, of course, people probably read into it and, and seen it, but by that time, Clarence was a single man. We were not committed to each other. We still had a very close friendship, but just doing grown people things. I don't know what happened on the other side of that, but all I know is like I was very understanding. I never I never planned anything out. I never maliciously moved or tried to take someone's family away or you know, I never did that. Like I I'm not that kind of girl. I'm not that kind of person cuz like I said, I know how it feels. I never did anything to hurt. I would never do anything just to hurt another woman. If anything, I was just going off of what I felt. I couldn't help my feelings. And me and Clarence, we, we, I think we told a story on how like we, we first told each other we loved each other. It was, it was crazy because like he even felt crazy saying it because he was just like, he was just like, man, this is so crazy. I was just in a, a whole five year relationship, but it feels like I've known you like so, like so long, you know, like it feels like, I don't know why I feel like I love you. Like, and I felt the same. I was like, Clarence, I feel like I love you too. <laughs> it's, it just happened. Nobody even meant for that to happen. You know what I'm saying? Like, word. I was I was gonna try to collab with other YouTubers and shit. Like, <laughs> yeah, Queen was my first and last collab. Like, <laughs> I'm pretty sure though. Like, when you keep Thank hanging you, with baby. people, like, I don't know. I just truth truth be told, I thought we was gonna do our video. Do some more videos, get a bag. Yeah, I'm a little I confused. What door is that in the back? Like, I know this is my room, but what door is that? There's a door on that side of the... On that side of the wall? Nigga, no. You know? It must got it flipped or something. And like, fade away. That's what I really thought. But it turned out to be different. It turned out to be different. And I really cannot help that. And I really would never... It's not in me to be like, yeah, I'm going to take, I'm going to, I wasn't even thinking about his ex. I wasn't even thinking about, you know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't know her. All I could think about was the relationship that me and him was building. We was always very honest with each other, too. And we still, to this day, are very honest with each other about our past and how we feel about certain things. Like, we just got that kind of relationship. Like, we're friends, too, till this day. We're still friends. Anything that was said before, um, I don't know, by his mom or whatever, she didn't know me. So, I get it. I completely get it. She didn't know me at all. And then I was this new girl coming in. I had a kid already. She probably like, yo, who is this? Yeah, about my mom thing, that was, t I feel like that was very petty for Leslie to say because there was a point where I was with my girl, the girl I was with before Leslie. My mom ain't like you. My mom ain't like you. And you know that. But years of, you know, and time. And like, nigga, my mom don't think anybody's good for me. Except for Queen now. She sees how Queen loves me and, and how she treats 
my son and her son. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's like, you know, like, I think that was very petty to say because my, my mom really cared for you at a point. My mom was actually more of a mom to you than than a lot of family members in your life. Like my mom was, you was very close to my mom. You was. And she cared for you. Can't believe you did that. Lady coming in, you know what I'm saying? And she already knew his ex for five years. So they probably had a relationship. They and did. I understand that. You know, that's completely normal. I get that. That's regular. That's regular woman stuff, though. You know what I'm saying? But as a man, you know what a real man do? You know what I'm saying? I told my mom, you're going to have to... You're going to have to love, you're going to have to love whoever I love. It's not who you love. You know what I'm saying? That's where like parents and moms get it mixed up. I've dealt with that from her side of the family. You don't choose who the, that person loves. You love the, that person because of your love for your daughter. And that's the conversation I had with my mom too. You know what I'm saying? So I need you to have an open mind because this is the person that I'm, I see myself with. But as she got to know me more and the kind of girl that I was, her love grew for me as well. She loves me now. She loves me. She loves me and she loves both of my kids. My mom would do anything for, for, for any and all tell three of them. How appreciative she is of me, how I love her son, the way I love her son. She's thankful. I don't I don't put Clarence, I don't try to put Clarence I try to be as easygoing as possible with Clarence. I can deal with him, I can handle him. I know what kind of man he is. He's a great man. But I know how to deal with Clarence. I know how to deal with him and, and I just I don't know, I get him, you know? He gets me. She does. She does get so, me. Very difficult person. I don't know. That's Sagittarius shit, though. Man. That's I just... That's, that's my side. You I know, we're difficult people. Compare, we're difficult people. We don't compare, know what, um, you know? I don't know. My name. I don't, I don't know shit. Like, maybe people won't even believe me. Maybe people will still be like, Queen, yeah, you still wrong. You knew what you was saying. Truthfully, I don't care what you guys are saying because I know my heart. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And me and Clarence, I feel like our relationship speaks for itself. We're very genuine. It was genuine. It was nothing... Maybe it started off something different, but it ended up something different. And that's just life. And that just happens. And sometimes you can't help it. And truthfully, who knows? Maybe, like, even if me and Clarence don't even end up together forever. Things happen. Things happen in life. But it was never to hurt nobody, bro. It was never to, to take anything away from anyone. I'm all for women. Like, I... I make women empowerment songs. Like, I make songs about stuff. So, I, the fact that people are saying, oh, you a homewrecker, and how could you do that when you went through the same thing? Y'all just got to understand the place that I was in from my point of view. I wasn't going through her. Like, I, I, I'm not her. She's not me. We, were, we had different, a different view of life at the time. That's what I'm saying. And when people say they were suffering, I felt like, Queen was suffering. Like, if you want to call it suffering, like, you know what I'm saying? I've never put my hands on no one. I've never, like, abused anyone. Like, you know what I'm saying? The most I can admit to is... I... I and I said this already. I just wasn't 100% honest with you. But I just felt like I couldn't be. You know what I'm saying? Where, like, Queen, nigga... Nigga, Queen taps me and be like, Yo, look at her cheeks. Like look at look at look at look at the Georgia Peach walking by, and I I look and I'm like damn like that shit is dead fat, like that's the kind of relationship we have, and we'll both start laughing. You know what I mean? Like that's just that I couldn't do that. You know what I mean? I kind of felt like I was more, you know. But I'm a very genuine person, bro. Like she is my most, most genuine person I've ever met in my nobody. life. I don't. I, by I don't far. Have nothing against nobody at all. By and far. I just, wanted to come on here and say that queen doesn't even want to kill a fucking bug in the, um, in the house hope you guys can understand where i was coming from at the time and we're happy we have a son together i don't want him to grow up and see certain things 
That's a fact. I want CJ to grow up and see certain things, but I know he's already starting to read. Um, I'm going to have to explain to him one day, and if Legend sees everything else, you know, he's we're going to have to explain it to him. Man, I don't that has nothing to do with Legend. Legend's not even like care. Bad people. Like, life just happens, and I apologize to anybody that may feel like I was moving funny, but I wasn't. I wasn't. It just happened. So, with that being said, I'm going to go back downstairs and get to my interviews. have a lot of promo to do, mad promo, um, for my album. My album is dropping the 30th. Make 30th. Sure 30th. Misunderstood is dropping. Make sure get you go pre-order that. Too, by the way, I need you guys to listen to the words. Listen to the words. Listen to my words closely because there are things I revealed in there that I feel like if you read in between the lines... You would know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I'm out of here. Love you guys. Deuces. I probably won't be out back on this channel for a long time. I just came back on here to say my piece or whatever. <laughs> and make a bag at the same time. Because everyone else is making a bag. Yeah, dude. So, all right, love I'm you guys. I'm making the biggest Bye. bag, baby. I promise. Um, Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, man. That was Queen's reaction. You know, um... It's it's a shame that she has to then for get online and defend herself again, man. Again, that's why I always that's why I stress, man. Put some respect on my girl name, man. I don't treat other people like that, and I feel like people treat her like that because of the nice and kind soul that she that she has. You know what I'm saying? I felt like if she was way more, you know, rowdy and tough and rough and like y'all wouldn't be doing that, mo. But it's because she's like docile, chill, you know. It's a, you know, it, I guess it bothers y'all. I don't know. But, man, I hope every, I hope everybody just, I wish happiness on everybody, man. And everybody in this situation, I hope everybody get better. You know what I'm saying? Me and Queen's going to continue to uh, love on each other and work with each other and and keep bringing our empire, you know, keep building our empire to another level. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to highlight y'all. This video is way too long. I'm out.